Hi, this is William. Welcome to Fly Spoke. Today I'm going to tie for you a uh, really simple fly, yet uh, highly effective. And the way I tie it, um, I feel like it's very simple and uh, pretty quick to tie and really effective because of some of the materials that are in it. It's a size 14, 3906. And um, if you want to tie it with a bead head, you'd use a 3906B. But um, just a standard nymph hook. And uh, I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly for you. Uh, first thing I always do is I take the barb off in my hook and my vise, set it tight. Always hold the hook, never let go of the hook until the vise is totally secure. I've shot them clear across the room. I'm just going to take some, this is brown, uh, sheer it's called, 14 aught designation, about 70 denier. And this I'm just going to bring right to the back to almost where the hook is bending. The first item is some pheasant tail, of course, pheasant tail nymph. And I'm going to take about maybe 10 or 12 barbules. And I stand them up off the stem because if I stand them straight up like that, they're going to get pretty even right in the front. Grab them really tightly, just rip them right off. Now, the tail I don't want to be too long, about, about that far, about the length of the, uh, the actual bottom part of the hook back. And I'm only going to put two wraps here. One wrap and two wraps. Just let it sit there. Next item is some um, copper color. Uh, this happens to be uh, Ultra. This is a fly spoke ultra wire. And it has a uh, enameled red finish on it. And I'm just going to put one wrap there, lift up the pheasant tail, and grab the wire. And just wrap up right to about there. Okay, now I'll just take my pheasant tail and I'm going to wrap it on as the body. And when I get right to this point right here, I hold this straight up in the air, this part of the barbules of the pheasant tail, and just let them sit right there. Now I'm going to counter wrap the rib, and I'll just make some moved, Put another wrap on that, and just a nice even, not too far apart, so a nice, nice even rib. I'm countering it it's just so it gives a little protection to the body. Over. Come in front. A couple wraps. Always bend back. And now I'm just going to go up on the pheasant tail. Come back a little bit to about right there. And remove my wire. Okay, next thing is I'm going to go back to the pheasant tail, and again I'm going to take maybe 12, 14 barbules, even them out, rip them off, and I'm going to put these on facing forward because these are going to become my legs on the fly. You can, uh, the option of course is to not put any legs, it really, it doesn't need it to fish well. And just wrap to the front, wrap back, and next I'm going to take a peacock hurl, one peacock hurl barbule, and tie that in, go back over, always go back over these things for strength. Right. 
in. And again back over. Okay, now I gotta divide. I'm gonna just push down over the eye of the hook. be pushing down and separating out as evenly as possible. Of course it doesn't need to be perfect. Bring those back. A couple wraps only. Separate the separate the legs with the wing casing. One wrap, two, three, four wraps back, pull up, put some thread in front, and then we're just going to cut it off. And let's clean up a little bit. Make a head pulling slightly taut. Shear uh, thread is very strong for ver for being so thin. Whip finish tight. Optional. Put a little put a little head cement on there if you like. Um, sometimes I'll take uh, some holographic nail polish, a little flex of holographic in it, and you can put that on the top of the wing casing. Makes a little uh, sparkly like the air bubbles. Um, tremendous little fly to, to fish. Um, I've caught some really, really big fish on it. And just as uh, uh, it's a wonderful fly, and you should always have a, a bunch of them in your box. There it is.